Jonathan Lee Riches investigates Christopher Preciado right here was arrested by authorities for the murder of Savannah Soto and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra. Now, I want to show you the distance between where he lived with his dad, Ramon, who was also arrested, and from his home to the Kalinas apartments. It's like 0.7 miles away. It's not a far distance at all. I'm going to take you on this murder route right here. Uh... I guess Christopher drove the Optima that belonged to Matthew, Savannah's uh, boyfriend, while Ramon, Christopher's dad, drove a Chevy Silverado. I think it's the 215 or 214. They actually own two Silverados, according to records that I've obtained, a 215 and 214 at their residence. But look at this distance right here, folks. This is some wild stuff. It was right in, in the neighborhood behind the apartment complex where the where the bodies were found. It was literally in the same neighborhood. Okay, everyone, this is Google Maps. Look at this. Look at these two locations here, folks. This is the distance between where Savannah and Matthew went to the outside home of where Christopher and Ramon lived on Charlie Chan Drive, and this is the location, Kalinas at Medical Apartments. It is only 0.7 miles away. Look at this distance. Look at this, folks. And it's wild because uh, uh, they were right outside here, Charlie Chan Drive and Cary Grant Drive in the corner, according to the affidavit of probable cause. Um, Christopher, the suspect, Christopher and his dad, Ramon, lived here at the corner. And then you see, you see it is only 0.7 miles away. Basically, you either just go up here to Cary Grant Drive and make a right on George Burn Street and drive down and then go right in at that OM food mark at the apartment complex and go in the back, in the back corner and just park the car. It's so interesting that it's so close. It was right around the corner from the apartments. I'm surprised neighbors or anyone nearby there didn't notice the truck sooner. Because the truck is there in plain sight. They actually have two Silverados according to uh, records. A 2015 Chevy Silverado and a 2014 Chevy Silverado. It's, it, it's wild stuff, folks. Look, it's right there. It was right there. And here is the home on the tr corner of Charlie Chan Drive and Cary Grant. And you can see, there it is. See, there's a pickup truck. There's the corner, look. And all you got to do is just drive a little bit down Charlie Chan. We're going to drive down Charlie Chan a little bit. Let's take a drive towards Charlie Chan, shall we? We're going to take a drive. Here's Charlie Chan. Look at look at that. We're strolling along. Strolling along. We're strolling along. Strolling along Charlie Chan. Some of these homes here that got blocked off. We're on our way to the Kalinas. We're on our way to the Kalinas apartments. It's really just one stretch of road. I'm wondering, now that the suspect's been caught, I wonder if authorities will get zoom camera from the neighbors around here. Wonder if they will. Oh, we're about to turn on uh, Danny Kane shortly. You see it coming up. Danny Kane. It's the street where the murders, uh, where the bodies were uh, placed in the apartment complex. We're, we're working our way there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's make a left. Let's go up the road. Go up the roads, go up a little bit. All right, we're gonna make a left. We're gonna go up the road. We're gonna go up the road. 
Remember, it was a few minutes before 12 a.m. 12 a.m. We're working. Here's the drive. Here is the drive, folks. We just passed Dan Duryea. Almost there. We're going to go around the corner. We're going to go around the corner up here. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Look at this. Still on Danny Kane. On our way to the Kalinas. On our way to the Kalinas. It's happening. You see, there's lots of neighbors around there. I'm sure they got their surveillance, right? I'm sure they got surveillance. Oh, yeah, they got the surveillance around here. Ring cameras. I'm sure they got it, right? I'm sure they got it. Why can't I move forward? Here we go. Ooh, it doesn't make you, it doesn't go anymore, but here we go. We'll move up some. Here we go, and look. Look what's coming up. Look what's coming up. Oh, we got the apartments coming up. Here we go. Here we go. And then the back of the apartment complex there. Let's see if we can see all the way in the back. All the way in the back. Behind the OM food mark. This is the apartment complex. This is the important apartment. All the way in the back. We'll be down here. In the back. So let me know what you think. It's not far. Not far at all. So let me know what you think. I'm shocked that neighbors didn't come forward with this information. Uh, saying, hey, look, down there, uh, you know, this guy Ramon uh, drives a truck similar. He lives you know, 0.7 miles away, not far at all. It's in the same neighborhood. But authorities ultimately, they got, uh, you know, uh, Savannah's phone records and were able to determine that she Googled the uh, Charlie Chan, the 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 road there uh, where Christopher lived and, and authorities used good old fashioned detective work. And then, you know, the computer searches that, oh, look, Silverado. Oh, look, look, the driver, the owner of the Silverado, a big guy that matches the description. Oh, we got him. We got the fish. We got him. So kudos to San Antonio Police Department. Just shocked that they weren't caught sooner. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. I am covering the Savannah Soto case. Who is Christopher? Who is Ramon? Who are these people? Why do they do it? Just a, is it a drug deal gone bad? Do you believe Chris, uh, Christopher's version? The suspect's trying to say that, uh, you know, the, the, the guns, you know, went directed towards Savannah first. And then Matthew, I guess he was claiming it was self-defense or uh, Matthew was wheeling a gun. I, I don't know. Whose gun was it anyway? Uh, the evidence shows that, you know, Matthew was shot point blank. Um, so, yeah, I don't think Christopher has a defense here. Do you think he ha does? Uh, we will talk soon, covering this case extensively. When more information comes out, I will share on JLR Investigates, the media covering this case. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.